Welcome back to the Stash Club Wrestling Podcast. My name is John. My name is Dante. What a week, what a week, what Ooh. a week. We've had to wait a week mm-hmm. to talk about all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like we rarely like we'll text each other about wrestling because we know we're going to talk about it. So right. there's no point. Right. Um, but I, t- I texted you I texted you that, that night yes. that this happened. Yes, you did. We all know what we're talking about. Yep. Um, before we get any farther, I want to let everyone know that this podcast episode is sponsored to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp, thank you for sponsoring thank today's you. episode. We're going to hear more from them later on in the show. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, man, huge news. Um, but I, I, th- I think we both came in a little sleepy. I'm yeah. coming off a hot Celtics game last night. Cheers, everyone. If you got a coffee, you got whatever a you have. A little polar some seltzer. Cafe- some caffeine. Cheers. <laughs> So we need it. The amount of notes I have for this. Yeah, I see. It's mainly all we're talking about. Jumbled up. Um, Yeah, we got some. We got to break this down. And obviously, the press conference is tonight. It's going to be hours. I mean, I'm going to try to get this out as soon as I can. (laughs) Yeah, try to. Because sometimes, sometimes the pod, the pod comes out anytime between like it seems like four and eight p.m. Eastern, depending. Um, Mm. Press conference is on tonight. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that like. I mean, I want things to happen. I want good things to happen. However, I don't want our I don't, content I, I, to I, be outdated. I don't, I don't want this, I want <laughs> I want this to be outdated to last so yeah. at least a few days. But I guess but it's, there's no no sense in stalling. Let's just no. get right into no. it. So mm-hmm. everyone already knows, but for the sake of the show, I'll break it down a little bit. Um, but here's the here's the TikTok headline: The Rock stole Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania spot. Boom! Cut that, and then that's and then we'll that's lead it. into that's that. That's money. That's how we do uh, it, guys. <laughs> that's behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, man. So I mean, for those that you know, to give a the the backstory, blah blah. This Friday on past Friday on SmackDown, Roman Reigns comes out. Honestly, really good promo. Great, that, like, great promo. Everything you know. Wrong. A lot of things got overshadowed by the Rock thing, but like. Which we'll talk about later, but a great damage control breakup segment. The best a segment great, of the night. A great Ro- uh, Roman promo, uh-huh. and you know. Um, but, you know, then, then Cody comes out. He says his spiel, and then he talks about, he mentions, like, finishing the story, like, isn't the belt taking the belt from him? It's but taking, taking everything, everything from him. Bar. Which doesn't make any sense, I considering mean, what he said next. Because then he said, I'm coming for you, just not at WrestleMania. And then he says something to the effect of like, you know, I have a colleague that knows you very well, or like whatever he said. Mm-hmm. Rock comes out. Granted, obviously, of it's course live, the huge pop, go crazy. huge pop. Um, the Rock, the Rock Roman's comes out. face when they cut the camera to Roman's face. That was money. I too. liked it. Like that. Like here's the thing that, that I think we're gonna get into, and it's it's a little bit more down. I have, but like, um, and I think I'm again. We haven't really talked about it, but I. For the most part, I think we're on a similar page. I'm curious what you have to say about it. But, like, a lot about this is good. Not, like, about the Cody stuff, yeah. but it's, mm-hmm. like, we've, for a year straight, we've talked about, and you fantasy booked, and we've speculated, like, thousand percent. like here's so they can do this Rock Roman dream match. And we are finally getting it. And even, like you said, when the Rock's music hit, cutting to Roman's face, uh, the, and once, I mean, after we'll talk about what happened, but when rock and roman stare at each other like that's all good stuff that's that's a holy shit you know i don't think the i don't think the way the rock came out was good but like like there are pieces of that where it's Mm -hmm. like oh this is actually we're finally getting it that we've been talking about is finally gonna happen a lot of it is just i mean the whole story and we're not really saying anything new necessarily but it's all just it's not good because it's uh, uh um it's in lieu of cody Mm-hmm. And then also just like the bill in general. To this it. just was the worst way to like out of right. all the all the possible ways to get to this mm-hmm. match. This this is probably one or two at the bottom of the list. Of it was ways so anticlimactic, it. It and just, it was just it doesn't. Ma- the thing is, if it makes sense, it's it's then you can justify it. Uh huh. It doesn't make sense, and just the timeline is just it's just weird too. Because like, <clears> and <throat> we're, we we have a lot of stuff more to get to. But it's like. The reports of when did they agree to the match? Was it before oh, Royal yeah. Rumble? Was it after? There's so much different Cody stuff. was told this, and then he was told this. Why did he point at Roman after winning the Rumble? Mm-hmm. He was told this, but they ch- There's just so much, like, just backstage, like, details and mm-hmm. politics even that go into this. Where it, And then they're saying, like, it's not political. 
But I mean, come on. Let's... The Rock just became uh, on he the board of TKO the board or and whatever. And then you're hearing stuff where it's in his contract where you get an extra thirty. I don't million. know. At this that, point, see, like that, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what to believe. Things. I'm I'm doing myself the benefit, giving myself the benefit of like not really. I'm not taking any report into consideration. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I mean, it is interesting, but it's like you drive yourself crazy if right. you're just oh like, oh my well, god, yeah. So anyway, The Rock comes out. Him and Cody hug, and this was like instantly the most talked about. Where like the look on Cody's face, the still image, is just so oh. like like before they hugged and he's looking at it, which that image has been going around with like the Rock in mm-hmm. the foreground. Um, he just looks like a broken man. They hugged. Looks like Rock said something in his ear. And you, Cody like kind of kind of smirks. My but... my immediate speculation, which which it I. Uh, in the in the coming days it kind of see i don't know a lot of people at this point are taking the stance of like the rock's ego the rock's mm-hmm. ego which i don't disagree with um but at the moment it happened in my head i was like oh the rock went like i'm sorry for doing this but like thank you for doing that's like all in my head right. um i don't know i don't know what do you think you said to him i would think like like thank you for letting me do this yeah. type of thing like usually it's i think it's, it's usually more i'm sorry than anything it's usually like the other way around where it's like you thank the legend for letting them take the opportunity or get in the spotlight but now it's the case of the legend coming in and i mean because I, I mean let's let's call a spade a spade he just jumped in the hottest story in wrestling <laughs> what would have been the hottest story in wrestling and just yeah. kind of messed it all up i mean we whether they somehow <laughs> whatever they do next whatever they fix it or not but they did mess it up a lot on twitter there were the comparisons of um when john cena like raised la knight's hand and when there was another example that was going around of a of like of just what i mean is of a passing legend of putting over a pass on the like torch that. or a legend coming back to even the rock elevate. did it to cena the, after right. their second match right. he raised cena's hand um so cody leaves the ring this and this and he even looks back and it was just like mm. and at that point i think the fans were still a little they got over the initial shock of the rock and realized what was happening They're like oh and kind of we just lost the cody roman match because like mm-hmm. it's like it's like we wanted rock roman but at what cost right you know exactly. what I mean? like, yeah, yeah. It's a perfect way to put it cody leaves the ring rock and roman face off for the first time ever which again is was great it was, it was great it was i <sighs> I wish so. I, I don't know. I, mean, I wish there was something else that like something was said. I know the stare down was cool and everything, yeah. but I feel like after like Cody left and stuff, and like you said, then people started realizing got anticlimactic. Then it was just like oh, they need just yeah. looking at each other. It was uh, pretty deflating. I know there the, was no time left. I'm not saying a promo battle, but you know, <laughs> could have used a one liner from The Rock to get the energy back. You know, yeah. in an attempt, but also yeah. in the in the while they're in it. It's uh, judging by everything is this is all taken them by a surprise. Mm -hmm. And in the moment, I imagine Rock and Roman were like, this is going to be nothing but joy. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it might have been like, they probably didn't have the wherewithal to be like, oh, we got to save this. Because in their head, this is like, wow, we save this. What needs to be saved? This is perfect. Yeah, no, it's kind of, you can savor it and stuff. I mean, just the intensity and I guess the shock of him showing up. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, was was worth it enough so like i said some of the other stuff we're getting to into the weekend because it's yep. like how i kind of have these notes down is we're going we're going we're going day by day yep. so this is all friday fair enough a lot happened over the weekend mm-hmm. and then more happened on monday yep um so in terms of friday um the discussion is again we kind of, kind of mentioned this but like yes it's a dream match and like i think you put it perfectly when you said at uh, uh at what cost yeah um Again, The Rock being, <clears throat> excuse me, on the TKO's board. And that goes into what you were saying where there's news of, did he, you know, he was on TKO. Did he give himself the spot? Mm-hmm. Did he, um, like you said, was it was it in his contract? I saw other stuff of, um, of they had Rock Roman planned the whole time, but for next year. Yeah and Things punk getting happened. injured like like people which i don't know i don't understand how that stuff correlates though. for a while it's toned down a lot but i think i want to say on like saturday it was a lot of like it's because of punk's injury they were saying he's saving wrestlemania exactly because punk got hurt something stuff happened with brock so now two big matches are off the card but my question is you just because one main event 
gets kind of disrupted doesn't mean another one needs to yeah be. i don't like know. that that I don't doesn't get make that. sense to me i don't get that just there's no correlation there mm-hmm. like i get it like okay we can put cody in this one like let's say they do cody seth like uh-huh. that's, like we can do that and then bring in the rock like okay yeah like you bring in another mm-hmm. big star but you're fucking everything up well just that to get and to like that Seth has so many people he could face so for the world many title. Pe- so it, they, don't, they never needed, yeah. Immediately, I was like, why isn't it Drew? Why can't they just have Drew yeah. be in that picture? Why isn't it Drew? Or even if you like, if you really want to salvage it, do a triple threat or a fatal sure, four-way or whatever. Sure. But yeah, I mean, there, there are- plenty of guys that a, You could do fought. a Damien thing as well. Yeah. Like he's got the brief Would we like that? Not exactly, but at least <laughs> it doesn't touch or mess with anything else yeah, there is there. no There is no correlation between like, mm-hmm. um, oh, oh no, Punk is out of the Seth match. We need to shift Cody over to <laughs> that to have and rock then face fill. Roman. It doesn't, yeah. Yeah, it no, doesn't, it make, doesn't any make sense. sense. <laughs> but that, well, I think, I think people are just trying to justify. They're finding justifications, yes, yes, of course. And they're like, "Well, Punk's injured, and that because it did, Punk and Punk getting injured did, it did change a lot. It did change a mm-hmm. lot. It did mess up things. But like, I don't think that, it didn't have to go to this extent, right? Mm-hmm. So over the weekend, WWE fans express how pissed they are at the Rock mm-hmm. and at the whole situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are different reports coming out, uh, like uh, like we just talked about. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of reading my no, notes. But um, yeah, Punk getting injured, and like you said, The Rock came in to like, oh well, I'll take this spot to save WrestleMania because I need to like the hero that he is. Um, other reports, which you kind of mentioned earlier, again, other reports are saying that Rock versus Roman was planned before the Rumble, and they knew about it going into the Rumble. Yep. So then, but that begs the question. Why still have Cody win? And if why Cody's have Cody win? Why point at Roman? Why after? point at Roman? Why do the whole thing mm-hmm. if they knew? Which again, that's why. Like I'm, see, I like to talk about these reports. I think this is all interesting. But you don't. But I'm not taking anything. Nothing. Brain for, you know what I mean? Because one, one said they've known about it since the beginning of January. One says like it was an on the fly thing because Punk got injured. Who yeah. knows? I don't know. Yeah, because people have been saying Punk was supposed to win, but they called an audible in the middle of the match. Like how right. fucking like how true is that? Mm-hmm. How accurate is that? So it's all like like yeah. assuming it's fun reading into these things sure kind of whatever but assuming that rock and roman was planned before mm-hmm. you know i guess genuinely like 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 why have cody win like what are they like, like i'll tell you what because what's the plan by doing there? what they Which did i don't believe judging by what happened i don't believe that okay you know based off of all this stuff and like just the timeline of things and whether or not they knew the rock was going to wrestle or not they knew this was going to create a ton of buzz. Like, just mm, this mm-hmm, whole mm-hmm. thing. Whether it was between The Rock showing up or people turning on The Rock and wanting Cody. I don't know. See, that's another thing. Did they expect that to happen or not? Yeah. We don't know. That uh-huh. could be part of it. But um, this entire time, I think in their head, they were like, with all this other stuff going on, right? what's the best way to create buzz? And I don't want to be that guy, mm. but no one's... This is what people have been talking about for the oh, last. Oh yeah, it's few just days. A, it's a it's a distraction. It's a distraction. It's, a, it's to shift public and I'm not, attention. And I'm not trying to say like that's why they did all of this, but like it's a shocking enough moment where like they knew people were going to be talking about it for a, at least until the next week's episode or something like that. Right. I mean, there were you know. I, there, there were reports of like that's why the netflix deal got done so fast because yes, like before yes. news came out mm-hmm. and whatever mm-hmm. so yeah i mean that that stuff can always always play a part in it um so over the weekend hashtag we want cody starts <laughs> trending worldwide um it's trending Crazy. number one mainstream media picks it up like, Dude, like bleach report was talking about it tmz was talking about it espn wrote an article i mean i was it. even seeing like like you know meme or brand like twitter account like mm. you know i'm not saying this is exactly what happened but like like you know the pringles twitter account would tweet it yeah. out like stuff even like that some started. wrestlers were doing it ricochet S- tweeted it logan paul uh-huh. tweeted it um even some wrestlers because they you go under like the instagram video kofi mm-hmm. kingston did this so it was a video of kofi what was that there's a, there's a oh. gnat flying around um it was a video of kofi <laughs> i couldn't get it and um he commented, he goes, man, I saw thousands of comments. I was thinking everyone's going to compliment me, but I just <laughs> see how passionate you guys are. I love you guys, uh-huh. whatever. It's really taken over all, it, even the rock stuff too. I'm sure you saw it, like all his posts and shit like that. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. The responses, like you go through his Instagram, <laughs> you scroll through and like, it's just um, something that has nothing to do with wrestling. It's like a promotion for yeah. hit, whatever. And it's just, fuck you, rock. Mm-hmm. We want Cody. You ruined everything. Like, it's I mean, it nuts. even bled into... Um, 
uh, George Kittle, I saw like in yes, the, he they like he mentioned him. something about in, Cody yep, or some they shit. They asked him in the press conference his thoughts about it and stuff. So it's trans it's got it's, mainstream it's, attention. It's transcended wrestling, mm-hmm. which which also the YouTube video is the most disliked oh, video yeah. it's at like at every hour we keep seeing <laughs> tweets within tw- within 10 hours i think it broke the record it yeah like two hundred thousand. right now it's at like four to five hundred thousand dislikes that's crazy Th- like that that's that's telling that's kind of pretty that's pretty funny because i want to judging by all of this because mm-hmm. we're gonna cover what happened on monday okay. which kind of bleeds into it but like i think there's a discussion to be had of whether if this is all a work, is this all on purpose? Are they shifting plans? We're going to get into yeah, it. I yeah, want to save it. Yeah. We're going to get into that. Mm-hmm. But so now we're at Monday. We want to take a quick break to tell you about the sponsor of today's podcast, BetterHelp. One of my personal relationships to me that matters the most to me and I'm most proud of is a relationship with my closest friends. I signed up for BetterHelp. I was kind of going through it maybe like a month ago, as we all do. And I signed up for BetterHelp. I got some personal experience with it. I talked to a therapist and it really helped. With the help of a therapist through BetterHelp, I was able to, you know, find ways to kind of think through problems easier, calm anxieties and different things. I think that has led to better and closer friendships with the people that I already care about and it helps me kind of make that bond stronger. A common misconception about relationships is they have to be easy to be right, but that's not true at all. The best relationships are the ones where both parties put in the work to make it great. Oftentimes, we have a hard time navigating tough moments, and that's perfectly fine. Good news is that we have access to therapy as a safe space to work through the challenges we face in all our relationships. You might think that therapy is only for relationships that are weak or broken, but that's also not true. Therapy is for everyone who want to improve their mental health and well-being. Therapy can help you cope with your emotions, challenges, and goals, as well as discover your strengths, passions, and values. Therapy is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of courage and resilience. Strengthen your relationships and give yourself the best chance to succeed. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, convenient, and very accessible. Become your own soulmate. Whether you're looking for one or not, visit betterhelp.com slash stash today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash stash. Thank you for BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Now back to the pod. Monday on Raw tons of hashtag we want cody signs in the arena yep. the camera is not panning away the camera is zooming in on him michael cole and the rest of commentary are you know talking to yeah they're making the making up talking about it. it we want cody has been crazy <laughs> the da-da. best slide he goes rocky sucks and he goes what is this 1996 again so that was like, that was the craziest during seth promo like you said rocky sucks chance begin in st mm-hmm. louis to everyone even like seth who said that seth or seth did seth say that or michael cole say that michael cole said okay mm-hmm. um but either way i think i think seth said like you know I, I was didn't think i don't think it judging by that moment i think the we want cody stuff was already like it took everyone by surprise but judging by that moment i think rocky sucks was even like a step further because like, you're not Whoa. just like being being like supporting cody now you're being like fuck the rock like that's two di- that's two different avenues and especially here. in where the rock is in 2024 wow. as just like a media icon you had to have really screwed up and you would have thought that him coming back would have been the biggest thing and he would have been cheered for yeah whatever yeah. and, and this right. stuff wouldn't happen um yeah dude they and they really were acknowledging it on monday they were. i don't know if you saw it too i think it was yesterday seth rollins <laughs> was on some wrestling podcast uh-huh. it was either yesterday or tuesday but, and then they asked him about the rock and stuff mm-hmm. and he was just like like listen we love you <laughs> but we don't need you big guy and stuff like that like yeah. he was like shitting on him for like a minute and a half wow. he's like i'm on raw for 10 years, we signed a $5 billion Netflix mm-hmm. deal because of me. And then you <laughs> come in. It's like, listen, you're doing your thing over there, and that's great. But, like, you don't have to come, and we don't need you. We're the best mm-hmm. Ross we've had mm-hmm. since the Attitude Hour. Even be- and he made, made great points. But it just the way that they're 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 acknowledging it. But to they're even leaning into now, it. They're leaning yeah. into it. Where it's, then we'll get into it more. But man, because now, because that it that, was eye opening to me. That that starts, you know, make me put the little the, the tin foil hat oh, on. That tin like, foil you know? has been a hat since the weekend. <laughs> so Drew McIntyre comes yep. out, and so you know, there's there's a promo beforehand between Cody and Seth, and they're like, 
Again, sets on his knees begging yeah. to face Cody, yeah. which I didn't, again, didn't like that this part. One, this one, I disliked his uh, desperation yeah, for a whole like, lot more I than the one before. I need this. I yeah. need this. I don't think that was necessary, especially given he, everything well, else. He, he was like, I need this. I need to, like, to prove I'm the best. I need to beat the best. I need to beat you. He and goes, Cody Rhodes, you're the best. But I'm like, but you're I didn't champ. like that. No, I didn't. Because yeah. I was like, you're the champ. You're not supposed to yeah. say someone's better than you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, I that's I, I guess I granted you know we he, skip over. he does know Cody beat him, so I guess it's like hey, if facts you, are facts. He's zero three against him, but exactly. But you still are the champ. It's like you're the it's champ. You can't be. You can't be like you're the best. Yeah, and you could beat Roman, but settle for me. Yeah. No. Um. But Drew like McIntyre comes out, and this I loved. Co- he's pushing Cody to finish his story. Yeah. He brings up Dusty again. He's like, yeah, you could get this title that was made for him, but but you should be getting the WWE championship that he's never won. So I liked it. it, He did it. It was funny how like in such a heelish way, Drew pushed Cody to where everyone wants him to go, but he still maintained Mm -hmm. like a heel. Because I want you to go that way so I can can slide. Um, I thought that was clever. However, I couldn't help but start thinking like, is this leading to a triple threat? I don't yeah, know. I, mean, I that, think Drew should be involved in the pit in the championship at this picture, point, no matter what. At this point, he, he needs be. to be. Because well, I don't know what else he would do if he wasn't. Um, so as Raw continued through the night, Michael Cole made it important to note that um, made note of the push behind Cody and also the fact that nothing is solidified yet. There's no match that's been made. And then kind of like, you know, um, hints at the fact of the press conference again happening live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. Is it seven or four? Four uh, East uh, West Coast. No, I thought it was. I four believe. Our time. Fuck. No, that'd be that'd be even right. worse for us. At least if it's seven, we got a couple hours of relevancy. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, no. I'm just I'm just um, double checking. But yeah, so Michael Cole was like was very 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 adamant oh, it is about seven. <laughs> All right, he was very fair. very admin about like nothing's nothing's yeah, in stone nothing's, nothing's in set stone yet. yet also one part drew mcintyre's promo that uh-huh. i thought was great too it was um him talking about wanting to face seth or whatever seth is like we faced off twice mm-hmm. i've beat you twice like whatever and he's like you know like they're a distraction he goes but wait didn't you lose to him three times in a row or something like that uh-huh. i was just like that drew mcintyre is a heel heel bro but he's probably the most like like heels that make sense like he's a heel for all the right reasons. his whole character is all based in logic it's hard it's to so logical. it's hard to he's the most logical heel in yeah, wrestling it's and great. i love it he does i i want him to win the championship so bad but. so so here's the whole thing okay is there's two sides of this it's excuse me it's um a was this all planned which which benefit of the doubt it would be hard to plan and anticipate you know fans turning on rock i mean it's a you have it's to, a fair gamble it's a fair gamble but you really have to bank on things happening for um, it to pay off or are we seeing the second iteration of a daniel bryan yes movement by the fans shoehorning cody back into the spot he deserves so so this is where it's like so after friday saturday comes along i'm thinking they fucked up like they just like made yeah. this like on the fly decision the rock is like like maybe something was like i'm not waiting until next year we're gonna get this done now and to wwe it's like if you can do the rock roman this is your one chance to do it for sure of course they're gonna be like well if this is the only chance we gotta figure we'll we'll do it and then figure things out Absolutely. along the way right and i don't disagree with that and then necessarily and then as the next few days happened and the way they were feeding into it, dude, mm-hmm. just really made me think. Now, either it was a work the whole time, and you're right, they took a big gamble and it paid off, mm-hmm. or they are just feeding into it now because they were like, "Oh, we fucked up. We should probably salvage this Change somehow." The course. Right? Yeah. Um, which I also believe could happen. Sure. Or maybe they did. And the other thing, maybe they did this on purpose to see how the reaction would be for Cody. And if the reaction did turn out the way it did, they'd be like, okay, then we'll go back and like include you. But yeah. th- then I get brought, get brought back to this. Mm-hmm. And this is the part that I think WWE may have put themselves in a the corner with. That's uh-huh. going to be hard to explain why. Why did Cody say not at WrestleMania? That's the part that they're going to be stuck with. He yeah, shouldn't point. that because now it's like, if you throw him into the triple threat match, don't get me wrong. I'll be like, great. 
bet whatever sure. but there is that little stain of like he did say i'm not challenging you at wrestlemania mm-hmm. now what they could i don't think this is what's going to happen but if they really fucked up and they want to salvage this i mean they could do cody roman at elimination chamber and say i'm not waiting till wrestling that the whole point is yeah. i'm not wait he said i told you i'm not gonna fight you at wrestlemania because i can't wait till wrestlemania but like the roman hasn't been um advertised he was never supposed to be on the show so maybe you'd have to push it like pay him extra to be there if you want to do that then you can still do rock roman at mania but then the rock in all these posts and videos is saying signing off the long gamer which makes me think <laughs> and that pisses me off Shut because the fuck and up. that pisses me <laughs> off so funny. because like then I'm thinking cuz the they gamer. said WrestleMania but they didn't say WrestleMania this year maybe they still do Roman Rock next year but then again Cody said not Mania so what it's it's confusing like yeah. with every logical thing that you can think of there's something that you get brought back to of well they already did this so how does right. that make sense so that's why I'm confused. If this is a work, like I guess good for them because it is making Cody <laughs> That's look kind like of a bigger my sentiment baby face, too, right? Is, yeah. And like if they fucked up, like I do think you can salvage it, but you're gonna have people like me that are gonna be like, "Well, you did do this, and you're yeah. going back on it." I'm still gonna be if it's a triple threat, and we still get Cody Roman. By all means, I'll be hyped, right? But yeah. I will be like. You kind of did it the worst way possible. No, I'm glad you. I'm actually glad you circled back to that. I think that's a. I think that's something that that, that we definitely brushed over. Um, yeah, you talk for a little bit because I'm I'm out of breath now. <laughs> um, uh, a couple things. Um, I can't remember the second thing, but on the on the on the first thing I had in my head is yeah the the. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. I'm, I'm scrambled a little bit. Um, one. Cody Cody was already the most over person in the company yes. like by mm-hmm. a, by a country mile yep. mm-hmm. and he is now somehow five times is over I agree. like the, the like oh I just spit a lot holy <laughs> shit um the push behind the push behind Cody now is insane. unreal insane um which again kind of lends itself again to a Daniel Bryan yes movement thing but but uh, what I want to, I know I'm kind of all over the place now, but what I want to go back to is, like you said, it doesn't make any sense. And it is also ca- kind of why um not super on the, on the, like, this was planned the whole time. Because, yeah, like you said, Cody, this is the first thing Cody's done in terms of the storyline where it's like, that decision by Cody didn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Give or take. Yeah. But he... Even the fact, even the fact that he he won the Royal Rumble, and he has the power above anyone else to challenge whoever he wants, and even in his little speech, whatever he said, all he said was, "I'm not facing at WrestleMania, but there's someone that you know very well that." Yeah, he was like, "I talked." to He goes, "I had counsel, and my counsel, right, some shit someone like that, that knows right? You so well, yeah." And I'm, but there was no he didn't give a reason and still has yet to give a reason mm-hmm. as to why he's willingly given it up to the rock and willingly foregoing his royal rumble mm-hmm. uh whatever and you know something what I mean? else i saw so they did they did their media mm-hmm. stuff a week before the rumble and i don't know i may have been bleach report it was some it was a big a sports media company and cody was talking about like you know rumors of the rock maybe coming mm-hmm. back whatever and he said his words were that would be great for coming back, but I don't think he's the type of guy to come in in the middle of a storyline and mess it up. He said that a week before the Royal Rumble. Uh huh. Like that's crazy. That uh, well, even that. Um, in the in the Punk Cody promo, Punk said you might remember it better oh than my I do. God. Yeah, he said the Rumble, um, right. He said verbatim something like he alluded to like the Rock thing. We didn't mention anyone by name, but he said like something like cody i've been in your spa and you think that they're behind and whatever but oh, they're just yeah. gonna they're just gonna replace you with a legend that's a bigger yeah, name than you and whatever like, he's like here's your wrestlemania story like you're right there you're at the that. finish line and right when you're there a legend's gonna come back yes. that hasn't been around gonna take yes. your spot because he's like that's what i'm gonna do but that's what happened to him when the rock came back and took his and won the wwe championship Let's yeah and then people were comparing the whole cm punk a uh, pipe bomb to Cody and stuff, how similar it is. People are saying CM Punk should show up on Raw and slap the shit out of Cody and knock some sense into him. Here we go. Here's yeah. the... They hand you the 
cover of the WWE 2K video. Also happened to Punk. Congratulations, by the way. It's on sale pretty soon, I'm sure. <laughs> No clue when it's on sale. <laughs> Cross the finish line and finish your story. Oh, wait. What's that in the distance? Mm -hmm. It's a much bigger superstar that hasn't been around in a very long time. Wow. Coming to take it all away from you. Like, it's, uh, it's like on point. That's, what does he have? A but, crystal ball? But that, Holy but shit. Like, then, then, like, I see stuff like that and it makes <sighs> me think, like, was that a planted promo? Like, was that to kind of like give us like a little foreshadowing? Like, we're not gonna think about it in that moment. But, especially like, if that if that's the case, you tie all that. So maybe Punk gets involved now, and he's like he's hurt, but he's like, Cody, you won the rumble. I don't know. You came here to finish your story. And you're gonna let that, don't he don't let that happen to he, me. He yeah. did that to me. Do not, yeah. bro. That would be sick. And yeah, even like cool. if if that's the case, and they had a uh, like like you said to plan a C or whatever, that would mean that they were anticipating. A negative reaction from right. a rock, right? Which, which would still be smart. Like again, big gamble. Which again, I think it's a big gamble. But I think if, if like if you could pick it paid one guy off. that would they would turn the fans would turn on the rock for it. Cody is probably at the top of that list. Yeah, nearly at the top. And of what are they? List. In actuality, what do they really give a shit for if the rock is getting? Moved? What do they have? To He's lose? gonna have. This is gonna be his last match ever. Or whatever you know, against Roman, whether it's this year, next year, whatever. He's the he he has the biggest legacy, you know, or you know, he's arguably persona. The greatest, the yeah, greatest exactly. Rest, best, most entertaining wrestler ever. He so has that. He's crime. already his own. The Rock is his own fucking entity. No matter what you happens know? here, he's this doesn't change his legacy whatsoever. And even like like like, and it's all gonna be wrestling. So like when he, let's say he's like the most hated guy in wrestling. Who gives a shit? He's gonna go do Fast and Furious thirteen and make a billion dollars. <laughs> so People are gonna love it's him. It's like you know? Face Rock, great. You get uh, kick your candy ass, all this and that. Um, eating pie, you get the, all the one liners mm. and stuff. But then you get here, and this, and maybe this is what they were looking for. Maybe we get Heel Rock leading. Up I to think Mania. it would work out better. We have sure. been seeing all this stuff about Hollywood Rock coming back. We can get those little one man show concerts mm -hmm. with the guitar, just absolutely shitting on Roman and Coat. Like we can get so much good stuff out of Heel Rock. Um, well, there's speculation that if he, if this is what happens and maybe we'll find out in a few hours, yeah. um, if the rock and, if the rock and Roman happens at mania, the speculation is that When's rock, it? rock might win. Oh and yeah. Rock I saw, the, I saw this whole thing of the rock was like, like not only was he one being the match, but there were talks about him winning. Mm -hmm. I'm not even entertaining. There's John. no way. John, I am not entertaining the thought of that happening because that's just you 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 take you you make a bad booking decision and then you figure out how do I make this even worse. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. Also, <laughs> also really like ballsy on WWE's end for doing mm -hmm. this, Cons <laughs> considering the last time The Rock and Roman had a big interaction uh, at a pay per view was at the Royal Rumble in 2015 right. in Philly, where the Roman won. And everyone booed both of them out of the building. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna main event WrestleMania <laughs> so funny. forty. That's in crazy, yeah. bro. Like that's funny. Hey, I didn't I even mean, think of that. Respect. If you like, really are gonna be ballsy and like run, try to run with that. Respect. But. Here's here here here's one thing I want to say too, because I don't want to. It's not fun just to dog on one side. Everyone was saying like, you know. Remember when he did one one clothesline or he did one people's elbow and he was winded mm -hmm. and like he's not gonna be able to brother. Do you see what kind of shape the rock is in? Sure, maybe his his endurance or his cardio right. isn't up there. The rock is in better shape than I will ever have in a million lifetimes. Oh god, yeah. I think he's gonna crazy professional athlete, former former world champion, this guy who posts three gym videos a day. <laughs> Something tells me if he wanted to have a match, he could have. I a think match. he'd be okay. Yeah, I think he'd train. I think he would get right. And that's you the know thing what I mean? too. Like it, from all like the past few years, like we've been speculating mm -hmm. this happening. One of the biggest things is the Rock needs time to get in ring shape. Uh -huh. I'm sure if they've had this match planned and like the Rock wouldn't agree to something if he if he risked getting hurt because at the at the end right. of the day he's like a hundred million dollar insurance policy like <laughs> yeah. riding on him like if he got hurt during mania and he can't act for a year <laughs> like he loses out on a ton of money mm -hmm. so he he's a businessman he, right. he understand how this stuff works too he, I, I even was the one to like made a joke about him huffing and puffing uh -huh. gender but if he's have if he's going to be in the main event at one of the biggest wrestlemanias in history i'm sure 
he'll be fine. And if they make it a triple threat match, even better for him. He doesn't expose him as much. Right. So maybe maybe that's <clears throat> why they're doing all this. Maybe The Rock isn't in the best in-ring shape, and they want to make it a triple threat match to protect that a little bit. I, mean, I don't this, know. At this point, because like, but you know it's what? interesting. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, maybe it's kind of where, where you were going, but like, I want... I do want Cody and Raw. Uh, sorry, I do want Cody and Roman singles match rematch, and I do also want a Rock and Roman singles match. If like if we get a triple threat, I'll be happy. But is a triple threat gonna be like satisfying? Because so, it's two stories they're trying to tell at once. Then so yeah, I don't think it can that's work. Similar to what I was gonna say, like I would like the triple threat match at this sure. point because it's. Roman Reign. It's the biggest stars of one generation, mass of this generation, then the next, which is going to be Cody, uh-huh, right? So uh-huh. it's like three different passing the torching type uh-huh. of shits here. Um, but we've been wanting Rock Roman straight up. We want Roman yeah. Cody straight up. Yeah, and it's like you're right. Will it be? It'll be. I think it will be satisfying in the conclusion. It would when be Cody Rhodes ball. wins it. Yeah, and he's probably going to pin Roman. You yeah, know, whatever. But again, it's just the lead up to this. I feel like the lead up to this is all funky and fucky and it's all confusing. <coughs> but when we actually get there and when I'm mm-hmm. hoping, assuming, hoping Cody's there, it'll pay off and we'll be excited and we'll be like, well, yeah, we had to do this to get here, but sure. we got here. Uh, I still do want to see Rock. I-, I thought that was supposed to be it. Yeah. Just just those two. But Rock and Cody or Rock, Rock and Roman. Roman. Yeah, Rock yeah. and Roman. But um, And also, too, it's like, you, you know, you're talking about the build, and it's like through through our speculation, through our fancy booking, and also just through the story they think they're telling. Is it's supposed to be you know like uh, weeks ago, whatever when The Rock first made a mm-hmm. made a reappearance, and he was like he mentioned like or maybe I'll sit at the head of the table. So this whole thing is like supposedly supposed to be for the head of the table the tribal right. chief thing no nope maybe out. it's gonna end up it'll probably, if it if nothing happens at elimination chamber it's probably gonna be for the belt mm-hmm. um but like are they gonna make it about the belt or are they gonna actually do like the real honing in on like because we haven't heard anyone talk which obviously it just happened last friday it's so like whatever the press conference is today but like I'm, I'm gonna be curious to see how much they which where do they lean the story are they really gonna lean in the rock, like, why is the rock here? Is there is the rock gonna say? Why is the long gamer here? Why is yeah. the long gamer here? Is it because of, <sighs> of of family and because of the tribal chief thing, or does the rock want the title? Does I, he want both? I love and hate the internet wrestling community uh-huh. because it's a great place to see just everyone's fantastic ideas and fantasy <laughs> options, but it's also terrible because people say some nasty things on there, which mm-hmm. I don't agree with. But I love seeing people's fantasy bookings because I'm seeing <clears> things like. Why not? Like, why not both? Why not Roman Rock Night One, Roman Cody Night oh, Two? Oh, I saw because, that too. Because, and uh, someone pointed this out. So, Roman main events one more Mania. He ties Hulk Hogan's record. It's like eight WrestleMania main event, which is absurd. But ties him. Main events two nights. Guess guess what record he breaks? He won't break his re- if he holds on to the title until at least SummerSlam. He breaks Hogan's title record. Maybe if we can't break that record, why don't we break his uh, WrestleMania record and give you two main events? But wow, I don't know I didn't if know that'll that. happen, but that's what people are saying. Yeah. People are saying, well, if they do Rock Roman, <laughs> Cody doesn't care about the location of winning the belt. They're apparently going to have an event at Madison Square, Madison Square Garden at the end of the year, which is where Dusty won but didn't win the mm. championship. So they're saying they're going to do like a Saturday night main event. I've seen that. But then yeah. to me, it's like, but... I get that, but you just had this guy hold on to a belt for this song and he's going to lose on a Saturday night. Like, Well, I also don't think the general I, public, like, unless, like, I mean, they would play up the story and whatever, but, like, I think that's a very, like, the Madison Square Garden story with, like, the dusty mm-hmm. thing or whatever. Like, it's a great story. Not everything but, like, needs to line up. Like the general that. public is going to be like it's it's way easier for like because most of the like the, the WWE cares about the ninety five percent of their fans, yes. which are just like the regular yeah. regular not Twitter having fans. Mm-hmm. And to them, the the Madison Square Garden thing is not going to be nearly as big of a deal 
as a WrestleMania win. Thousand no matter what, like history or whatever is in and that that's garden. Why I, you I've know? always been opposed of like, oh, if they do Roman at Elimination Chamber and he loses it, then it's like I can't see him losing that right. belt anywhere but me. And I get it. It's at. It's in Australia. It's a I big get it. stage. It's a huge it's event. Huge. But it's this it's is not diff- WrestleMania. It's not. It's different. It's different. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I mean, we're just gonna have to see what happens at the press conference. I don't know if. We'll get every answer, but we know Roman, Rock, Cody are going to be there. I was going to say, I mean, too, what so. do you, what do you think's going to happen? I like they'll like, announce a match. I think they'll announce Rock Roman, but yeah. it's just going to be a matter of how they announce it and like if they play into any of the Cody stuff. Mm-hmm. Final says, prediction: I'm going to say <clears throat> they announced Rock Roman, but we're going to be left with the impression of like. Cody's like not second guessing his decision of letting Rock step in, but he's like still in the shadows of like, I still want that type of thing. Yeah. And Seth's going to be the. Honestly, uh, that's what I'm saying, but I have no fucking clue. It's, it's, speaking of Seth, too, I think the person who's been hurt maybe the most in all this is like somehow Seth. No offense. I love Seth. He's been looking like a bitch the last few weeks. Like I know he's hurt and everything, but just the way that they're presenting him and stuff, I just Cause when when they were just going down their normal path where obviously, you know, the punk injury sucks and that derailed everything. Yeah, but like, you know, if Punk wasn't injured, the world the World Heavyweight Championship would have its own thing. It wouldn't even be whatever. Now it got tied into the WWE championship thing somehow yeah. and like they're burying each other but like the roman rock really not the rock roman really Ro- yeah. He, yeah he like even to the they're basically calling like which i'm surprised they let him do this but like i think roman did call like the, the he called the runner-up title which is like the loser bracket title yeah. or something like that which is yeah. like also like everyone that's lost to me i love that from roman it was aspect, great but it makes but that it's look so bad why would you why would you actually say that on tv when you're trying to make that title because that that yeah. ruined yeah, it 100 percent. he did say that I forgot about that he did say everyone that's lost to me has competed for that <laughs> yeah, it's pretty and funny. it's like that's true it's great that's the thing it's great line it makes you know and like the I remember that was a funny moment where it seemed off the cuff where where Roman mentioned Seth Rollins' name and the crowd was just like still listening. He goes, "No pop." Yeah, he goes, "That's right, no pop, <laughs> no pop." Dude, Roman is at, Roman's great on when he's like let, when he's able to let loose and just yeah. like go off. He's like good. That, it's dude, like, he's great. It's really impressive how much he's improved. It is really impressive. Um, yeah. And on Raw, Seth came out and was like, "Hi, da da da," and everyone cheered and he went. Sounds like a pretty big pop to me, but again, he's I don't salvaging know. it, bro. We know Rock cooked. We know Rock. We know Roman cooked yet. Um, so let's see. This on Bleach Report. This says WWE arrives in Las Vegas Thursday afternoon for a special WrestleMania kickoff event, headlined by the advertised face to face between The Rock and undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns, with Cody Rhodes also in attendance, along with the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. Rhea and Bianca will be there. Um, they don't have it written down, but Punk's there too. He posts a picture at Vegas. Oh, okay. So I don't know if he'll well, he might just be. He might just be hitting, might the, just hitting be there. the casino floors. Could might, be, you know, make the the whole thing happen. CM Punk hits Rock. You're not doing this again. Wow. Yeah. What might occur to me? Um. So that they have. I saw Vegas. someone put this out too. They're very late with announcing next year's like events and stuff. They haven't announced where this year's SummerSlam or next year's Mania is, and they, they've usually announced it like well yeah. before. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but people are like kind of. I weird. thought don't they usually announce the Mania like during Mania? Or they no? usually announce the Manias like. Oh really? Pre- they usually announce them like years ahead, yes, like a two. Years, but yeah, they're saying that they haven't announced. It. I don't know why, but well, that's probably over. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably the last WrestleMania. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. they're calling it. The Rock um, wins, and that's the Rock, it. The Rock wins. That's the end. <laughs> end of, of wrestling. The end of wrestling. Yeah, yeah. everyone yeah. start watching oh, AW. Wrestling's over. Yeah. <laughs> end of WWE. They're like, yeah, we. Thanks for the ride. We went fifty something seasons or whatever, and <laughs> shows over. To call it quits. Yeah, so that's yeah, like Seinfeld ending. That was the finale. Um, why are they having this in Vegas? It's just because it's in Vegas. Money, baby. I don't know. I guess. Yeah. But like also... Well, maybe next year's events in Vegas. I don't know. You know how fucking... Bi- I mean, maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah. Um, but you know how busy it's going to be? Because like everyone go. What I hear, a lot of people go to Vegas for like the Super Bowl. Oh. Imagine yeah. how busy... Oh, the Super Bowl is in Vegas. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Super oh, Bowl maybe is that's in Vegas. Why. <laughs> that, would, that would make sense. Let yeah. Me, yeah, let me double check. Because admittedly, I was listening to the Daniel Tosh show and they were talking about being in Vegas for the Super Bowl. But that would make sense if it's in Vegas. 
2024. Throw the word location um, on that search. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Where's nothing, the Super Bowl huh? the next not, five years? No. Not getting any on. info here? Uh, Alleg... Oh, yeah, it's, it's Vegas. Okay. E- either way. So, Super Bowl's on Sunday. Yes. This is happening on, like, a Thursday night in Vegas, or Thursday afternoon in Vegas. Um, that's what I'm saying. I mean, this is, like, I'm kind of just, like, just, like, talking at this point, but it's, like, why have it, why have it in the city that's going to be the most cluttered and crowded for this whole week? Because people all, are already there for the Super right. Bowl. You it's know also I mean? going to be fan, like, open to fans and fan interaction. Yeah, it's, like, a whole stuff. thing, so right? So, it's going to yeah. be, like, we could be hearing a lot of, uh rocky sucks chants and stuff like that it'll be interesting oh, how they acknowledge that because i wonder so do you mean like the press conference is open or just oh, like it's like all, an event oh it's all open so like, yeah it's so gonna, it's be, gonna be like there's gonna be the media members and stuff but it's like at an arena so pe- fans are gonna be able to sit in the arena and chant and do whatever wow yeah wow mm-hmm. oh man and i'm this... sure since there's gonna be a lot of reporters there i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of reports that are gonna come out after some interviews maybe bro rock and roman are gonna get booed out of the belt here's, here's, what here's what's gonna saying, happen dude rock and roman are gonna stand up because it's gonna be a panel mm-hmm. rock and roman like a boxing it's gonna be like ufc fuck. this is like a ufc press yeah conference. yeah rock and roman are gonna are gonna stare at each other whatever booze mm-hmm. right camera cuts to cody camera's gonna cut to Everyone's cody it's gonna go crazy yeah hey man i mean i'll tell Whoa. you like whether it was an intentional or not they took cody up a whole nother level they did so maybe this is all genius is the thing no, that's you know what, what i'm saying mean? like i mean good for them if this is what the the long uh goal plan here the long-term plan here was um but I, man, I don't know if I agree with how they're doing it. But man, I, hey, whatever works, I guess. I, I saw him. I saw him cut a promo. After, it wasn't aired, but it was like after him on and Raw. Sammy. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, he was like, I love when he gets choked up. And he's like, he was, uh, you know, I'm glad you guys want me because I've wanted you guys for so long. And the fact that you guys want me, and I was just like, ah, oh. he is like, like. How are you giving that he up? Is, How are you giving and, that up? And someone said this on Twitter, and I, I honestly like believe it in the sense of like I'm not talking about like obviously accolades, like in nothing like that. I'm not comparing the characters or whatever. I'm just talking about straight up popularity. Uh-huh. If they pull this off, mm-hmm. Cody wins of WrestleMania 40, top of the world, wins the championship. I'm not comparing again, but I think he is going to reach a point where he's at like John Cena popularity. Yeah, like yeah, I can for see like it. where yeah. John Cena was for like last generation, what mm-hmm. Cody will be for this generation. They're hyping up to be the biggest baby face for the next five, ten years. He's gonna give be a, this. Give solid. him a spinner belt, and he is off Fuck to the moon. Fuck it, dude! Oh my god, with the uh, with no with his little neck tat <laughs> yeah, spinning fucking. in the middle or something like that. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, they're if they if they're actually strapping the rocket to him and stuff like that, they're turning him into one of the biggest baby faces since Cena. Um, and I'd love that. I, yeah. I I think Cody deserves it. I think he's a perfect like face of the company. Like he's a guy that you'd send off for interviews. He's a guy that you want representing your company in commercial spot. Like this is the guy that you want. And that's why it it, it, it can kind of baffles me why you know they're kind of going through all this when they could have just straight up done Cody Roman stuff, made it simple. Um, but again, if they're building him up to be a bigger baby face, kudos to them. I love this tweet from Cody. Appreciate the passion. God bless y'all. Ugh. Dot to dot. But trust me. Cody! <laughs> trust me. Trust me, Dash, the long gamer. <laughs> the long gamer. Yeah, dude. It's just... And they feed into it. They know. They're acknowledging it. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of just looking at Bleach Report predictions. They're yeah. saying, like, you know, obviously Rock Roman, Cody will probably be announced for... Rollins. They could call that. They, they could announce Cody Rhodes Rollins predictions be a swerve. You know, I mean, it's like they announce it now, but they're even saying Drew might come in. Cody Rhodes likely. Damian Damian Priest cashes in Money in the Bank. Cashes in, yeah, cashes in in Vegas, and they are in an arena. Put they up are. a ring. Yep. Get a ref. Yeah, dude. I don't know. So man. I guess we'll just wait and see. Press conference is um, for us. It is eight hours from now, seven hours from now. So. Like I said, I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping nothing happens, so this is relevant. But 
Hey, that's just a, unless you unless i mean we went we went about 50 minutes on that yeah no I think unless I'm, you have any more I'm on that out. i think we i think we touched on everything don't know what the tiktok clip from that is going to be maybe it's going to be all i don't know if could i can be, know maybe this could be the longest tiktok you guys have ever seen <laughs> yeah. from us we just throw that we throw the whole 50 second <laughs> our 50 minute segment on it um so with that said with all of this time yep. going we're just gonna we're gonna touch on highlights in this case Let's we're skipping we're skipping stuff um I do want to talk about, we mentioned it briefly yes. uh, way earlier. Bailey turns and decides to face Io Sky at WrestleMania. I'll run down the segment real quick. Like I mentioned again, I think it really got unfortunately overshadowed by the Rock Roman yep. stuff. But Bailey's in the ring. She's like, what if I, what if I challenge for Rhea? I could go a different direction though. Blah, blah, blah. She says something to the effect of like, you know, uh, not trusting your closest friends or the people that's closest to you or something along those lines. Yeah. Um, she starts kind of clapping back at EO Kyrie Asuka saying that like, you know, I hear what you say behind my back. She speaks to them in Japanese, yeah. which I thought that was, that was fucking great. sick. Nice touch. That nice was touch. so good. Yeah. Um, says she knows what they've been saying behind her back. Says to EO, I love this part. Says to EO, how she only wanted the best for damage control when it started before Oscar and Kyrie came around that they were so tight and it was them and Dakota or her and Dakota. Um, Dakota wasn't there either. Dakota also wasn't there. Um, Oscar and Kyrie attack Bailey from behind with EO kind of like, kind of like yelling, not yelling orders, but kind of just like yeah, from a yeah. distance being like, get her, get her. Bailey finds a lead pipe, starts whacking around with the lead pipe and then says, uh, you know, whatever, speaking of, Speaking of uh, who I'm facing, blah, blah, EO. Bailey EO officially announced for WrestleMania. Main event, be- night one. That's what I'm saying. That's because, what it should be. Because the night one main event is so muddied at this point. It's so up in the air now. This is the strongest. This is what it is. We, yeah. They've been building this up for a year and a half. Almost. Give this the main event Give spot this, this for is, sure. They deserve the main event. Bailey put on a uh, performance of a lifetime. So good, dude. Like top five uh, performances from Bailey. Um, and the crowd's behind the her, The crowd's too. behind her. Fire. She was. A, she looked like a mega star. I don't think she's ever... Uh, she's never felt like a bigger star yeah. right now. Oh, I me. agree. Um, I agree. It's her turn for it, sure 2024 is bailey's year she won the rumble mm-hmm. i expect her to win at mania i think she's fine she hasn't had a world championship run in like three years two three years she hasn't won since she's been back at least yeah she was gone a year and a half before that so maybe even longer than three years um she deserves it man she's like i know you know there's the four horse woman you have the becky lynn charlotte sasha banks and everyone gets their praise in their own ways but i for years i've always felt like bailey was the one that didn't get um as much credit as oh, the yeah. other ones because she was the correct me if i'm wrong but she was the last to get called she up she was too. the last yeah. to get called up um but you know what man she's just as good as those great. four and she she really revitalized herself with her heel heel character she was the baby face for so long she was great but when it got stale she became a heel and she was fu- her and Sasha Banks carried smack that her mm-hmm. them and Roman Reigns carried wrestling in 2020 in the pandemic stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and since damage control has been back, she's been putting everyone over. Yeah. EO Sky is the one of the biggest stars Huge. in the company because of you know Bailey's platform and stuff. Um, but now it's time for Bailey to get back to the top, and I'm I'm excited for that. She deserves it. I agree. I'm also hoping that there's I'm hoping there's some some Dakota again. Who knows if she's injured? Hey, she's whatever. not wearing a knee brace anymore. Yeah. So I mean, she definitely could be involved in this little buildup. But I'm happy they got it out of the. They announced it now, so that we have two months to just build yeah. this up. Like yep. no like questioning. Oh, is it gonna? Be? Well, we assumed it, but like no like pushing off. Like when they're announcing it, like they mm-hmm. announced it. Rip the band-aid off. Now, yep. now we ride off. Um, want to talk about NXT Vengeance a little yes. bit. I admittedly, I the, the only thing I saw was the um tuned in late. I kind of remembered it was on. What was that Sunday? Mm-hmm. Um was it Sunday? Maybe it was Saturday. Saturday I'm not sure. I, think, I forget what day it was. Um, Sunday, I think. Tuned in real quick and I saw the the maybe the final three fourths of Ilya Dragunov mm. defeating Trick Williams to retain the NXT championship match of the year so far unbelievable match of I the mean year holy so far. shit these two kicked the shit out of each other yes they did um unreal match um and then Carmelo Hayes as everyone's been waiting for mm-hmm. finally turns on Trick Williams taking out the leg fuck you Mellow Chance throughout going off air bleeding into, into tuesday. tuesday yeah unreal his promo was great it was very reminiscent of um 
sitting in the ring spotlight on mm-hmm. him just like very like intimate like him talking to the crowd and then at one point trick williams music plays and he was playing a joke on them it was very like when Shawn michaels was a heel and he was in canada and he played Bret uh-huh. hart's music and he didn't come out yeah dude didn't he say like he's like not yet or something like that yeah what he said? no he said um uh what did he say um it was, like, it, was like, it was like one word he said. Yeah, I forget, I forget what, it was. what it was. But this feud is going to be money. Now, what people are questioning and saying, because NXT has a pay-per-view. They have their event WrestleMania weekend. I think it's the Saturday afternoon. Some people are saying whether or not this match should be on the WrestleMania card. And don't get mm. me wrong. I think that's a great idea. But it's like, this is an NXT feud and stuff like that. He said like, not yet. That's what he said. Not yet. So you put him you if you you put this on the NXT card like everyone's gonna want to watch that pay per view. It's not, the, not that they wouldn't want to watch the other match. What's the but. NXT WrestleMania thing? What are they? I forget what it was called. Uh, Is it always? Different? It might. It's always. It, they change a name. I don't think that, there's not too many standstill names. Like they have That's true. stand and deliver. Um, it might just be at where it is, like location wise. Like, if it's in, like, Brooklyn, they'll say NXT TakeOver Brooklyn or something like that. Oh, oh, you yeah. Know it, what I mean, they call it takeover, different right? shit, yeah. Um, okay. But, yeah, anyway, so people are debating whether it should be on the Mania card or not. And like, It is interesting. I get it because, like, you know, with WWE having some injuries right now, they need to, you know, fill it in, you know, have some. Oh, Stand and Deliver. Is stand and Deliver, is that yeah. where it is? Okay. I think that's what it was called last year. Maybe that's. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, they... Maybe that's going to be there. Ooh, they really yeah. did start like probably like yeah because it was so yeah, 2022 ago, stand to, deliver um, name them like this and not just be like take over something it's in 2021 it was take over stand yeah deliver. okay they dropped the takeover yeah so i probably once Shawn michaels came in they dropped yeah see look at all those takeovers yeah, that's crazy. and stuff so yeah they just changed it um i i do think it would be cool if it was at mania yeah but, but like it's an nxt thing yeah I, I i think it would be cool but leave it in nxt it's it's a I money agree. feud money match no matter what card it's on it's gonna deliver it's gonna stand and deliver nice i always forget that it's um it's like in the afternoon of wrestlemania Dude, like last year be. when we um i was at a di- i went to a diner and uh-huh. i literally like watched it on my phone <laughs> like in the afternoon before coming here to watch mania um but yeah it was a really good show I'd, i would definitely recommend watching the full match because i think it, it was the best match i've seen yeah like i said i saw so I, th- I think i just missed like the first like maybe like i want to say mm-hmm. maybe like eight to ten minutes or whatever but um but yeah from there it was it was unreal yeah um let's see okay i mean that's all that's all some nxt i mean other stuff happened on smackdown blah blah but um let's see let's see, let's see. it seems like we're getting a logan paul elimination chamber too i'm hoping that's so what, that's what we're looking at. that's know. what it's looking like also naomi and um tiffany stratton newest yep. members of smackdown too. yeah that's tiffany tiffany big. face meachin yeah in a solid that's match. two solid pickups for smackdown right there um over on raw we got we got pete dunn and tyler Bate. um or no i'm sorry they won on smackdown but diy mm-hmm won the number one contenders tag match and they're gonna face pete dunn and tyler Bate. yes um that match i think raw. i think it's happening on raw I think smackdown. smackdown they might be either smackdown. way um to determine the number one contender for the judgment days tag titles not sure if that's gonna be a wrestlemania thing think, not sure if that's they, gonna be probably elimination, think chamber, think elimination chamber i'm hoping yeah. um all i mean creed brothers we talk about Bro. it Talk about it at nauseum, but unreal. Oh my god! They're, they that's this is why they need oh, to split the cow. tag titles so they can have one set people Woo. can go offend and the Creed mm-hmm. brothers hold on to the other. I mean, they're saying um, they usually have like a tag team like showcase mm-hmm. match or whatever at Mania. I mean, Creed brothers, Pete Dunn, Tyler Bay, Alpha Academy, DIY, pretty deadly. There's a few teams. Yeah, pretty deadly. Imperium. Yeah, New Day. You even can, you can do some. You can do some mm, stuff. I mean, you only got it. Yeah, you can only have t- four teams. Yeah, uh, maybe depending on. I don't know. Um, no, I'll put more in there. More, more guys the better. Becky qualifies for the chamber. Mm-hmm. Liv Morgan versus Zoe Stark next week to qualify. Um, Liv Morgan's gonna qualify. Yeah, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put a whole lot of money on Zoe. Um, Rhea Ripley and Nia Jax for the title set for Elimination Chamber. Mm-hmm. Set, set, set. We were kind of talking about that um, the past couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, hometown girl. I would imagine. Depending on what the other matches are, my guess right now is 
Well, we were speculating she would get the main event spot. I don't know if this is a big enough. Like, I don't know if I could see them still doing it. I could see them still doing it because, like, it's a Rhea and people are going to go crazy yeah. for her. But I think I'd prefer. And it would go down as probably one of the worst main events. I don't know. Um, I would say give it to the woman's elimination chamber because mm-hmm. you still have Rhea. Like, Rhea can come out at the end Close of that. And, you know what I mean? I agree. Um, mm-hmm. uh, let's see. Skip over that. Oh. Jey Uso yes. challenges for Gunther's intercontinental title during his 600-day championship reign. This I mean, Gunther's an underrated promo, too. He, dude, he he kills it on the mic. He was he really like, does. you know, you've been a tag team guy, and you know, you don't know how to do this, and without your brother, he, Yeah, blah, blah, he was blah. like, I'm going to beat you so hard, you wish, like, you <laughs> wish, like, people were still confusing you for your brother or something and like, like that. He's such, when I was, he's such an old-school, like, 80s like promo too because like who else says like you know i know roman goes like i'm gonna smash you which i i hate smash you but gunther just saying straight up just like i'm gonna beat you so bad it's just like it's just like tense to oh, a point no to the sugar point, coating old school just fucking like yes just I'm like all right gonna kick the you shit you want to step in the room with me great i'm gonna mm-hmm. i'm gonna kick the fuck out of you um so is i don't know is this at do we think this is at Elimination Chamber? Is this at the so Rumble? He, so he, or sorry, not the Rumble Mania. He can't um, compete at Elimination Chamber. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's whole, true. That's true. So this is... Keep forgetting about I that. I think it's coming up. I think it's after Mania because they have a bunch of uh, international pay-per-views. Like, they're going to be in Berlin. Right. They have, obviously, the Saudi ones. They have the one in France. Um, Paris, I think it is. So they... I, mm. I think... The whole this whole visa issue is going to be resolved before then, but he Hopefully. can't compete at Chamber. Unfortunately, because like I wish we could see Good this point. match. I wish we could see an elimination Chamber match, but the point being, I'm assuming it's going to be on Raw or something like that. They'd probably just do a Raw match. I mean, this, right? I, think this, I think this could. No, be, I think it's a mania worthy could be match. A mania it match. Definitely yeah, is, but, but I don't. What I put here is there goes there goes Jay Jimmy. Which at this point, I don't even know. I, I don't think Jay Jimmy's happening. The only seeds they planted was the Rumble. Yeah, and they didn't like do anything about it. They just started the match and like didn't eliminate each other. Didn't like really do any other interactions. Nothing. I I think at this point, because if you can't have a match at Elimination Chamber, this I'd say this is the mania match. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine you with know? that. My only worry is that it's two months away, so it's like. Oh yeah, they got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a build there, but I, yeah, I'd be fi- if this is the match. That is, I'm fine with. That it. is the only reason why I'm like, oh, they got a lot of time to, yeah, al- almost too much time to build. Because how much can you really build for Jay Gunther? How much story is At really there? At the same there? time, I wouldn't you know? mind a good old like triple, another triple threat or fatal four way match at Mania, like last yeah. year, the triple threat match. What or- I like too is um, New Day came down to save Jay. I think this is a nice little storytelling yeah, yeah. of like, you ne- know, that next the whole week. Jay, uh, the whole Usos New Day feud, but they respect each yeah. other. So I like that that's like, they got his back. Like, it will be cool is like, I don't want Jay to be relying, like the whole like Jay being a singles competitor is him not relying on people, but it would be cool for like, for this whole thing, Jay has the New Day have yeah, his back. It'd like, be a nice Gunther like. has his, uh, yeah. Vinci and Udwig. I think that'd be cool. Um, Kabuki Warriors retain against the KCs in a rematch. This was this was whatever, more so just to do the rematch. Wonder who yep. Kabuki Warriors are going to face for Mania. They got some options, but I don't know. I actually don't know. I honestly don't know. On it. Um, Off the top of my head, I don't know. Excuse me. Cody Rhodes defeats Shinsuke Nakamura in a bull rope match. Yes. Apparently this it's the same bull rope that Dusty used in his last bull rope oh, match, wow. which is un. I think the story they were telling was, in in Dust Dusty used it for his last bull rope match. Even uh, Dustin used it. So like this is like the same the same physical bull rope that has been passed down in these matches. Wow, which is I, unre- I, I didn't know that. unreal if true. Unreal if true. I did not know that. Um. Um, 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 pro- this is probably, we thought this feud was ending like two matches ago, but like this is probably it for Cody you'd, Shinsuke. You'd um, more miss stuff that looked like blood. Oh, um, the red and Cody's blind. I hair. know. I need, one day, man, I need it. I need him to be fucking bleeding like Save crazy. it. Save it for Mania. Give it save to me at Mania. <laughs> um, Drew attacks Cody at the end. This was a, this was a fun, fun change of pace match for a main event of Raw when, yeah. you know, you never see a bull rope match, you know, and it adds to Cody's legacy and all that stuff but um yeah it is what it was the drew there's a lot of drew involvement there's, there's a lot, lot of drew involvement, involvement which is really lending me to thinking it's either a 
like I said, we like not not to circle all the way back, but either Drew's gonna push Cody out of the World Heavyweight Championship match, mm-hmm. or they're getting a lot of Drew and Cody interaction because they're gonna both be involved in the World Heavyweight Championship match. I don't know. I just, I just want Drew involved in the World Championship picture when it comes to the whole Raw side of things. I'm not even gonna entertain Cody or anything. <laughs> just when it comes. I mean, genuinely at this point, like it's Drew winning at this year's Mania is perfect. It's what needs to happen yeah. <laughs> because he didn't get his moment at 36. And like, and honestly, he's on the run of his career. He's on the run of sure. his career. And these 10 year manias, WrestleMania 10, mm. 20, 30, at 10, you had Bret Hart. At 20, you had you, you had name redacted and Eddie Guerrero <laughs> standing at tall at the end. 30, you had Daniel Bryan. This year, it should be Cody and it could be Drew. It could be Rock. The, the two guys, fucking, it could be The Rock. The underdogs win it. Yeah. The 10s, yeah. it's The Rock. Um, <clears throat> Drew, I, I think right now you want to talk about like character arcs and like how well, like the best characters in WWE. I think Drew is like at the top of the list right now. Like just the work he's put into this heel yeah. character, it's so good. We talk about is a heel, but it's a justified heel. Like it makes yeah. so much sense. Um, and he just deserves to win a world championship. I mean, he kept losing to Roman. He couldn't beat Seth, but now this is like the perfect storm. Mm-hmm. I think this is the perfect time for him to to win it. I I don't see really anyone retaining at this year's WrestleMania because look, I mean, I, if you ha- if you have Rock Roman, different story. But sure. let's assume, let's just go with if, if it's you know Cody Rock or Seth Cody. Rock, Cody's Jesus involved Christ. in this. Cody Roman. Yep. Like like I think. <laughs> Ro- if, if Cody, let's put it this way: if Cody is thrown into this match, yes, whether it triple threat or singles, he's winning. Has to if win. Roman Reigns wins after <laughs> all of this, John, three P in the Rumble, three P in the Rumble, we have an issue. <laughs> three P in the Rumble will be fine. Um, <laughs> First ever. But so I think Roman's the most likely to retain because yes, like who knows right what the now, fuck's happening sure. mm-hmm. there's no shot seth is retaining he no. needs to get a new leg <laughs> yes, yes um gunther i think they're gonna have a monumental loss up in the air but i do think that more likely than not he'll he'll lose logan's a little up in the air i think i think after his uh after his you know one against ray solid match against ko we'll you know still still healy stuff we're gonna see what happens at the chamber i think logan is this is also the time for logan to but also i don't know he did we were talking about how he signed like he did yeah, sign might contracts show up, might show up more and stuff like yeah that so too. i don't know i could i, I yeah, we'll could see that going either way eo's losing yeah. Rhea's Rhea interesting could, i could, Rhea see could that, win i mean because uh what was it um what am I? What am I trying to think of? Um, was it Bian- who faced Bianca last year? Who was it? Was it was Rhea Charlotte? And then what was the other woman's match? Why can't I think? Oh, uh, Bianca Asuka. and yes. everyone thought Asuka was gonna win. Yeah, Bianca ends up retaining. They could pull off a shocking like whether it's Becky or Liv Morgan. I'd put my money on one of those two being the ones to face them. I mean, it would be sick if like Becky <laughs> won and stuff like that. But I mean, Rhea's at the top of her game mm-hmm. right now, so I can definitely see her see her retaining tag team titles who knows God fucking knows. who knows who's gonna walk in as champs but if, if judgment day still has them then judgment day are losing them mm-hmm. kabuki warriors it's kind of a they, there's nothing much going yeah, on of yeah. them having them but uh but i could even see like over an nxt it's the Ilya dropping it uh-huh you know and that's kind of starting the next chapter of nxt yep. maybe give it to if they do do a rematch with trick sure i would love they to see could, trick yeah, win it there's because there's one more um event uh nxt event before mania mm-hmm. and i was like who's, who's kind of next with up mellow and Il- they're saying that mellow and Ilya might run it back and carmelo wins and then it's carmelo trick wow with the nxt belt involved oh that'd be crazy i think it was a little too much i think i don't that's another few that i don't think necessarily needs a belt at the same time you can tie it in because it's like trick was always his sidekick mm-hmm. and mellow had the nxt belt so you can kind of being like see i'm the top guy i'm the one that can carry this around i just think i don't love Ilya's run ending for the benefit of I a want, different i want story Ilya that you know that's also yeah. i agree i think if it was another champ i'd probably be like oh maybe whatever but i want Ilya to legitimately have the belt for like another six to eight months like he's the best sure, and sure. he's the best nxt champ like he's so fucking good um yeah he doesn't seem stiff so he could yeah he could absolutely retain at yeah the Mania I, I i hope he has a, a very good reign and whenever he loses it it's like a like a he's stepping up to the main roster type of thing so that's gonna happen at some point and that would that'll that'll be insane um mm. but yeah 
a lot of good stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening in wrestling right now. Oh a lot God, of good a, stuff. A, a lot of confusing stuff. It's a it's a crazy time. Also, um, we're talking about it off camera, but a little AW oh, stuff. Yeah, Granted, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, I was at the Celtics game last night, um, so I, I caught. I watched like. I got home, it was late, and then I was like, oh yeah, AW, and it was like, it was like midnight, or like 1 a.m., and I just, I watched the, I, I watched the first match, Swerve, I watched, Hangman, I watched Hangman, killed Swerve, it again. unreal, killed it again, I want to, um, I'm gonna finish it later today, the ending was great, the so, oh my perfect god, way to end they finished, too. I love when like, they don't do the time limit, they don't overuse the time mm-hmm. thing, but when they, when they use it, they use it's it like right, one, ding 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 ding, what the, f- yeah, the tri- and then, then they announced the triple threat for Revolution, it's gonna be beautiful. Hangman Page versus Swerve Strickland versus Samoa Joe for AEW uh, World Championship. I saw someone call, which I fully agree with this. I think it's I think it's a thing that Hangman and Swerve are wrestling soulmates. You know, some Dude. people just have that. It's like one of those Ray things. Eddie, it's like you, know? you wrestle so often. It's like you think it gets repetitive like they're doing the same thing but man every time they wrestle they do so something different good, and they make dude. it so good so good um and then but mercedes monet yeah. the uh, uh big business big with a money sign <laughs> not, yes in not, boston massachusetts not my favorite uh event name but big business aw abounced. is really good at like like not like spoiling anything but making it so fucking yeah, obvious yeah, so yeah. What, dude, like the whole cm punk thing homecoming in, yeah in fucking the the last chapter in chicago like everywhere because that's the thing i mean if they're having if they're having a cm punk return in chicago or they're having a mercedes monet debut in boston they want to announce it as much as they can without so people will telling people that yeah they, yeah and i get it like, i hey respect i think it's funny it's funny mm-hmm. marketing um but yeah so mercedes monet is mm-hmm. pretty much but confirmed. he's hyping it up more he, like like i mean I, mercedes monet is a big deal but the way he's hyping maybe it up someone else i think there might coming. be more okay, or it's just gonna be a before. it's just gonna be a, a monumental event when's Re- when's revolution i think march beginning of march i think okay so this so this event is before revolution i think it might be oh because evolution. evolutions oh you're right okay yeah. evolutions march 3rd it might literally be like the wednesday after revolution yeah i would double interesting check when, um, the AEW event is but they said five weeks i think so I, it actually might be the wednesday after i dropped it in here hold on it's uh, march 13th okay so yeah two weeks after i think so right something yeah. like that um, yeah um yeah that's a that's a yeah. pretty big signing and i i um there are some reports sean ross shout out sean ross put out saying that apparently she's been on their payroll for months now they just have which is crazy which is crazy to think about because for the last few weeks we've been speculating if she's going to show up in the rumble and right she obviously is under which contract, like so i get it if you if you if you if you don't have the moment for her yet lock yeah, her down yeah 100 and then you and know. she was hurt and stuff like that so mm-hmm. you know maybe they were just really waiting for her to get healthy the right moment perfect storm and hey they're in boston no better place she was supposed to reportedly boston oh wow then she was she got hurt i think weeks before so that kind of stopped it but um so yeah i'm trying to you know i don't know hey, hey well hey does anyone at local. aw listening I know we got the higher we'll have our AW listening. We'll have our uh, we'll Tony. Have our, we'll have our people talk to your people. Tony, I know you're watching. Send us um, some tickets. Is this is this what you saw with the CM Punk? Uh, yeah, he, like, he's posted on his the, story. Yeah, he's, the airport. <laughs> <laughs> he's there, bright and early, seven a.m. But yeah, wow. um, he uh, had his surgery and everything already, Punk. So now it's just the road to recovery. Oh, I saw like the video of that. Yeah, yeah, unreal. It's the road to recovery now. Wow. So, oh, oh yeah sting, sting and darby and I, allen tag yep. team champions that's that's kind of crazy again i wasn't able to see this but uh i mean like it seemed I, their, their whole story is like they keep on they, they keep on winning and i don't think sting's gonna lose a match before his before his big but now they're the tag team. final now the tag are oh, they're gonna need to lose it oh i maybe they'll relinquish them i don't know what they're gonna do know. maybe the ma- last match will be for the titles and the bucks win it or something because his last match is at it's at revolution right yeah five weeks yeah so what <laughs> i don't fucking know dude i love it like i love they have the titles yeah i do too but i forgot about that i want to go back and watch that this. crazy motherfucker i'm also man. just like i'm more into them having the tag titles than i am um ricky and bill unfortunately love yeah. ricky not super invested in yeah. bill they haven't done a whole lot with them Maybe i wish it's been they, a more I wish they would have done something like this like a while ago Darby i know Singh. i'm Maybe, surprised so it's they longer didn't. than five weeks or they, they've been weeks. a tag team forever so it's forever, like yeah i don't yeah. know 
I don't know. Maybe they were like, oh, shit, we forgot. I was like, oh, my God. Wait, you haven't won yeah. the tag oh, team championship? Fuck. All right, we'll do it now. They, we'll do it They're going over his, like, resume and stuff. It's like, yeah, yeah so, like, you know, you won the tag team championship. I've never won the tag team championship. You haven't? <laughs> you haven't? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Book the, book the match tonight. Book the match. Book the match. You haven't won the AEW championship? <laughs> oh, Samoa geez. Joe. I'm sorry. We have oh, to change wow. everything. He's in every match at Revolution <laughs> winning belts. <laughs> it's a fatal four-way <laughs> match. Sting, would... Sting becomes a one-night belt collector. Uh-huh. Yeah, like sick. Kurt Angle and TNA, mm-hmm. and then re- then relinquish it all the next Wednesday. Um, well, that's just about our show. That's I, wrestling. I there was know. there was stuff we skipped over, but I mean, I you knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. This whole show was going to be Cody Rock Roman. Um, Sue us. Let's just hope. Let's just hope it doesn't get outdated. We want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring mm-hmm. today's episode. Thank you, BetterHelp. Thank you. All of the all the stuff is going to be linked in description, linked in the bio um use code uh stash is what it is s-t-a-c-h-e again all that stuff in the bio you can follow us on everything on our personals it's all on the screen um as well as subscribe leave your like yeah, leave your on. comments what are we doing let us know let us know uh let us know sorry i had a I had a thought that just <laughs> that just derailed me let us know what you think let us know what you think is gonna happen in the press conference but a yeah. big bada boom Do we have anything um, to throw in at the end Oh yeah, we. I feel like we haven't done that. Do in a hashtag bit. we want whoever you want in the main event of WrestleMania. We want Cody. We want Rocky. Hashtag we want Stash. Hashtag Club. Hashtag we want Stash Club. Hash whatever you want. Hashtag we want whatever. Ugh, that's about that's it. it. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Sweep City merch linked in the description. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes. We might open. have some stuff Peels. coming down the pipeline. Some new things happening. We'll see. New things, maybe some new changes, some new some new wearable things, maybe. Ooh, um, I we like got some stuff cooking. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to no promises, but I'm trying to get um, the wrestling video. I kind of forgot about it, oh, to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I forgot I'm about hoping. It. I have the first bit of it edited. Mm-hmm. I have I have the training part edited. Okay. I just need to edit. I just need to. I need to cut together. The actual event, and I need to like add, you know add the little add, add the little the, sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's but coming, I'm, guys. I'm hoping that's coming out. It kind of needs to come out uh, next Monday or Wednesday. Hey, there and you then, go. Keep your eye out for that. So yeah. So other than cool. that, we'll let you go. Hashtag We Want Stash Club on. Uh, so we know we know you made it this far, yes, sir. Because they didn't think we would. Nope. Um. All right. All I'll right. let you go. Everyone have a good week. Enjoy we'll the see press you all conference. week. Yep. And that's and that's it. And then peace.